This is a video about how to make posters using a website called canva.com. Now suppose you're a social studies teacher and you give an assignment for students to make a poster the old-fashioned way on oak tag using text and graphics. Well you have the option to do that online digitally as well and once the students create their poster online you can either save it as a PDF and they could email that to you or turn it in on Moodle or Google Classroom or you could display it on a smart board or they could be printed out either in a typical eight and a half by eleven inch sheet or if you have a wide carriage printer they could be printed out poster size that would probably be be ideal and closest to your original assignment so let's take a look at an example so here's a finished product this is a poster on ancient Egypt that I just made and you'll notice it has sort of a faded out background of some uh, some hieroglyphs here it's got some text and it's got some uh, it's got pictures I could put maps I could put anything I want on here so here's an example of the finished product and let me show you how to design that using canva.com so the first thing you need to do is have your students go to www.canva.com they'll see a sign in screen that looks like this and they're going to need to make an account now the good thing about this is that we can use our Google Classroom accounts for the students to sign in. This way there's no question about forgotten passwords and usernames. So if they simply use their first name dot last name at northport.k12.ny.us for the username, the password is the one they chose when they signed into Google Classroom the first time. Um, we'll have a record of that username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in using my uh, Google Classroom account. So now I'm logged in and here's the start screen. Now the first time you log in it may take you through a little tour which you can take or skip. Um, I've logged in before so I bypassed the tour. It takes me right to this page and the first thing I need to do is choose what I'm going to do and we want to do a poster. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a poster. It's going to give me a blank canvas here. Now let's take a quick look at these tabs over here this is where you would search for images. There are millions of images on here already. Some are free and some of them you have to pay for. They're usually a dollar each. We'll probably avoid those in the school setting. Um, what I did is I went to Google Images and downloaded some graphics already. Let me take a look and show you that. So here I have on the desktop, this was done ahead of time. Okay, I made a folder here. Let me turn on the, the pane so we can see. I already have some text that I gathered from different sources um, about ancient Egypt and then I have these different graphics. These were all free and they all came from uh, from Google Images. Okay, and this one here I may use as a background. Let's go back to canva.com. So again, you can use some of their free ones but uh, probably for our purposes we'll go ahead and get our own and we'll use those. So. Uh, they have pre-made layouts as well here so if you're doing a flyer of some sort this these might be very useful uh, in my case I'm gonna start from scratch and I'm going to make my own design in my blank can canvas but they have pre-made layouts elements so these are all different types of things that you can use in there uh, we may we'll use some frames later on for some of our pictures but they have shapes and lines and different things you can put in there text of course is just that headings different size here different fonts backgrounds if you want you can use a colored background if you just click here it'll give you a poster a different colored background here's a color wheel over here so you may use that if you'd like I'm gonna use uh, one of my graphics for a background uploads are images that you upload so actually here's one that's left over let me go ahead and delete that because I want to start from scratch but images that you upload from your computer will show up right here and then over here also, let me go back here, you have um, the ability to zoom in and zoom out. So you see this 14.9% and you can see it just zoomed out a little bit more. If I hit the plus sign, it zooms back in. I like to see the whole page when I'm designing and then later on, maybe I'll zoom in to look at some detail. I'm gonna keep it at that. So that's pretty important to zoom in and zoom out. Okay, let's go back to the background and just put a white background back on there. So now I'm going to add my own background. I'm going to use one of my graphics and just fade it out to make my background. So first I need to upload it. So let's go over here to Uploads, the Uploads tab here. And I'm going to, um, 
I'm going to upload my own images here. So I go to that folder on my desktop called Egypt Info. And I'm going to, uh, this is the one I want to use actually for my background. Oops. Right here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and upload all of them because I'm going to use most of them at, at some point. Anyway, if I don't use some, that's fine too. So I'm going to click, hold, drag, and select them all. And it's going to bring them over here, right over here. So I'm in my Uploads tab, and here are all the images that I uploaded. All right. So let's find the one that I want to use for my background. So here it is. So go ahead and just click on it, and it puts it. Um, on my canvas here, I'm going to stretch it out. So I need it to cover the entire area. And it doesn't matter that it extends off the f the uh, the poster. That really does not matter. I just needed to cover the entire poster. Let's say if I can move it around here, maybe we'll use that. Okay, so I've got the piece that I want, but that's too dark. If I try to put text on here, uh, it'll probably get lost in this background. So I'm going to sort of faded out. So let's come over here. Now that I have it selected, I come over here to this drop down arrow, scroll down a little bit, and I click on transparency. And it's going to give me this slider here. So right now it's at 100% or completely opaque. So if I drag this back, you'll notice it starts to fade out a little bit. And I'm just going to find what I want for my background. So I want it to be pretty light. I'm going to go with something like that maybe. All right, so that looks good. Now I've got my background. I think I can put text on there without this background getting in the way of it. All right, so step one, I've got my background. Let's go ahead and put my title up here. Let's go to the text tab over here and we'll add a title. So I'm gonna call this Ancient Egypt. And I can move it around just like a text box. Okay, like so. And I'm going to want to make that larger. So let's come over here to 72. That looks pretty good. And of course, you can change the font as well. Let's see if we can find something. Uh, let's see. Okay, this looks pretty bold. Let's try that one. Okay, so I like that one. There's my title. And let's add some, uh, some general information underneath it, uh, a subheading. Okay, we'll call it a subheading. So I click on that. And this is going to go underneath. Now let me go to my folder and let's open up that text that I have. Let me zoom in just a little bit here. So here's my overview that I want at the top. So I'm just selecting it in Microsoft Word and I'm copying it. Let's go back here and I'm right click pasting it into that text box. And there it is. And I can stretch this text box out like so and I can change the alignment I think I want a left alignment on that and you know what I think that's a little bit large it's gonna take up too much room maybe 18 point okay so there I've got some general information underneath my my main title so I've got my start now underneath that I want to put some um, some graphics some pictures and then I'll fill in with some text boxes now let's go to the uploads. Um, I can just click on these and drag them over and start using them. But I'm going to put a frame around my three graphics. So I'm going to come up to elements and frames. And I'm going to find a free frame that I like. Okay, here's the one I like. It's free. So I just click on it and it, it puts it on my poster. Let's go to my uploads and let's grab this one. I'm going to put this one inside and drop it in the frame, resize it by the corner, and position it where I want. Let's say something like that. Okay, now from here, I can kind of keep doing that with my other three, or I can just copy this. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna copy it. This way it's easy, I know I have the same size frames, I, they're all sized the same, and then I'll just drag the different pictures in. So I want this one in here, and let's see, which one do I want? I think I want this one right here because it's showing food. And I can move, if I double click on it, I can move the image inside the frame to get what I want. Like this one, I really want to kind of focus on the food here. So make it a little bit bigger 
and I click the check mark. See there I'm focusing on the food. I can move it around. What about this one? Double click on it. And this is an example of sun worship. So I want to make sure I get the sun in there. That looks good. Okay, so I've got my, my three graphics. I can continue to move these, but now I'm going to get some text and fill in in these three empty spots. So let's go ahead and uh, go to back to my Microsoft Word document. So let's do the one about food first. So here it is. So I'm going to just copy this text, right click copy. Let's go back to Canva and let's go back to text and click here. It gives me a text box. Right click paste my text in and then I put it where I want. So this is going to go next to the food like so. Okay, so I've got that one and now I'm going to do the same thing. Put a text box here, a text box here and copy the text into it. So let's go back to here and we'll do the one about religion. Right click copy, back to Canva right click paste and then resize the text box so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for this text box and that one okay so I've got my text in three different text boxes next to the graphics and the only thing missing now is the subtitles for these different sections here so one is daily life one's religion and one's food so let's go ahead and grab a subheading here and we'll call this one uh, food We'll move it down here And let's see, can I make that bold? No, it's not possible. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll go with 28 point for my subheading. So now from here, I'm just going to copy this one. So once it's selected, I come over here to this drop down. And one of my choices down here is copy. And let's copy it one more time. And we'll move that last one over here. And then I just go back in and change the text on there. So this is daily life. And this one was religion. Okay, so now I can kind of play with the layout a little bit and move things around. I can play with font sizes, etc. But I'm basically done. I have my poster all laid out. It's everything I want. I remember, I did all that work ahead of time getting these graphics and getting my text. So that's all done ahead of time. But now that I'm done here, all I need to do is save it. So in order to do that, you come up to where it says share here. And you can go ahead and uh, post these if you wanted to or send it as an email. But what I'm going to do is actually download it. So I'm going to click on the download and I have some different choices here. Right. If I want to keep it as its own image, I could do it here. But more than likely, I'm probably going to download it as a PDF file. This is easy to share with other people. And it's also easy to print out if I have a wide carriage printer. So this one's slightly higher quality than this one. So I'll go ahead and do this one. So I click on PDF for print and it, go, it renders my poster. Okay, and here it is. If I'm in Chrome, it downloads it down here. So I'm going to click that little drop down. And there it is. I can double click on it. And let's zoom out a little bit. But here's my poster in PDF format. And um, again, I can put this up on a smart board to share it. I could print it out large size, or I could just email this or hand this in to my teacher. So that is how you design a poster using Canva.com.